<clears throat> Hi, Angela. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, teacher? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Very well. Oh, nice. It's good, good. to see you. Good. 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 Nice. nice. Very uh, good. Me too. Me too. Nice. Very good. Hi, Rosa. Nice. Oh my God, Rosa. Is it you? Hi, Rosa. Is it you? Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. It's Marco. <laughs> good morning. I'm. I'm sorry. Good morning. <laughs> I'm kidding. How are you it's today? A, it, it's a. It's a miracle. <laughs> you see, mirac miracles do exist. <laughs> yeah, I I ar I arrived early at home and I have oh. uh, much time to do the things. <laughs> so you are very you are very relaxed in this moment, right? So you finish yes. everything and oh, nice. yes, I'm go I'm going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I like your shirt. I like oh, your yes. t shirt. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but Barcelona today, oh my goodness. Yes, today was was a mess. <laughs> it was horrible. It was horrible today. Yes. Anyways, right. Hi, Carla. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very well. Thank you. How do you feel today? I am fine. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Fine as usual. <laughs> yes. All right. Yes. Very good. Hi, Darwin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very well. Oh, nice. I can see. I can I see do. you are very well in your face. Happy, happy because tomorrow have a vacation day. Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow yes, we have yes. a day. Yes. That's we the way a... I'm here early. Oh. <laughs> yeah, ready to go. Day off. <laughs> Yes, yes, it's true. Tomorrow we have a day off. All right. I guess yes. they will text you anyways from Inglés Corporativo. They will text you uh, telling you that we have a day off, but you know anyways. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. Hi, Osmin. Hello, Osmin. Excuse me, excuse me, Michael. No, it's okay. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Ada. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Oh, nice. Very good. Welcome to the class. Thank you. All right. We have Margarita connected to. Hi, Margarita. Are you working or are you in your house? In my house, but uh, I came to off the camera. It's okay. okay. All right. It's okay. Uh, hi, Lourdes. Hi, teacher. <clears throat> Sorry. It's okay. Uh, recently, I arrived to my home. Okay. And in this moment, I'm eating very okay. fast. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. <laughs> relax. Okay. If you're eating, relax. You, <laughs> could have a, you could have a problem, okay, if you're eating too fast. So relax if you're eating. Okay, thank you. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. All right. Hi, Michelle. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Very good. We have Sandra connected too, right? Hi, Sandra. Well, she's connected. Hi, Hi, yeah. Hi, Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Are you in the bus or are you driving, Sandra? Hi, teacher. Hello. Are you in the bus or driving or home or? Out, out, home. Are you <laughs> in your house? Ah, you are not in your house. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, we have Ophelia connected too, right? All right. Anyways. Okay. So, uh, so everybody, uh, welcome to this uh, session. So basically, this is session number 18, right? This is uh, session number 18. So that means that uh, on Friday, uh, we finished this module, okay? 
Bás, básicamente el viernes terminamos, prácticamente. El viernes terminamos. Okay, so we finish on Friday, module number six, okay? And uh, then I don't know if you receive a message uh, telling you that uh, they are sending the, the information to human resources, right? Ya están enviando la información a human resources y ya están esperando por, su, por, por, por sus documentos. Así que han dado de fecha hasta el viernes, me parece, según el texto que mandaron, ¿verdad? ¿O me equivoco? Hasta el viernes, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Creo que sí, José, yo ya los mandé. Ah, ok, perfecto. Bueno, para los que no han enviado aún eh, documentos para el siguiente módulo, para la beca, eh, para que puedan obtener la beca, ok. Eh, hacer la sugerencia, ¿verdad? Que estén pendientes, que vayan, hablen con recursos humanos para que envíen la información a más tardar el día, el día viernes, ¿ok? Así que todos eh, pendientes, porque nos podría, a veces, le, a veces algunos eh, les consume el, el tiempo, ¿ok? Así que en este caso, si no han preguntado en recursos humanos y ya enviaron la información, preguntar, hacer la consulta, ¿ok? So please ask, ¿ok? Bueno, otra cosa, creo que ya todos recibieron también. Eh, el correo para la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿o me equivoco? Todos lo recibieron ya, ¿verdad? Sí. Muy bien, entonces... Ajá, ah, tu WhatsApp, ¿ok? Yes. Um, para que no tengamos el mismo problema que tuvimos la vez anterior, que algunos lo tenían en WhatsApp y no podían copiar algunas cosas específicas. Y no podían copiar algunas cosas específicas. Um, ah, tómense el espacio para copiarlo en un documento, en una nota, no sé, o en un documento Word para que lo tengan a la, a la mano y para que puedan copiar partes específicas que necesitamos, ¿ok? Porque si solo tienen el, el mensaje de WhatsApp, no, tienen, no pueden copiar, por ejemplo, el código de clase o el nombre del grupo, ¿ok? De, perdón, el nombre del... Sí, del nivel, ¿ok? Del módulo, el nombre del módulo. Así que tratemos de tenerlo tal vez en un documento Word si tenemos ya la computadora y si no, pues tratar de tenerlo en un correo, ¿ok? O en una nota, no sé... Okay, para que solo podamos copiar partes específicas de ese mensaje que nos mandaron. Así para que ya lo tengamos listos para el día viernes y no tenga que estar yo, por ejemplo, copiando códigos específicos y mandándoselos al WhatsApp. Códigos y mandándoselos al WhatsApp para que ya tengamos la información lista. Okay? Así que esa es la sugerencia y por supuesto también la sugerencia no ir de curiosos y abrir el mensajito y tomar la encuesta. Okay? La encuesta, como lo dice el mensaje, se va a tomar hasta el día jueves, ¿verdad? No. Sí. No lo he leído bien, pero Ajá. entiendo yo que es lo hacemos. Ajá, es la última clase, ¿ok? Es la última clase. Viernes. Sería el día viernes, ¿ok? Así que eh, ese día vamos a estar tomando la encuesta todos juntos, ¿ok? Y dice que eh, solo es tomada una encuesta, la, la encuesta solo es tomada en cuenta solo una vez que se manda nada más, así que eh, yo sé que algunos ya pueden hacerlo perfectamente, pero la idea es, o el protocolo a seguir es que siempre lo hacemos todos juntos el día viernes o la última sesión del, del módulo, ¿ok? Así que no, tienes, no sé si tienen alguna consulta al respecto. O tal vez de lo de la información que deben mandar, de, eh, recursos, que deben mandar recursos humanos. No, todo claro, ¿verdad? Siempre es el, sí. lo que hacemos toda, todo lo, todos los módulos. Sí, así que, siempre lo mismo. Correctamente, así que estamos sí, bien familiarizados. Una ¿Sí? consulta. Sí. Adelante. Eh, en esta ocasión, bueno, en, en mi caso solo lo he recibido vía WhatsApp. Y comúnmente siempre lo recibo primero en correo y después en WhatsApp. No sé si ahora solo vía WhatsApp lo van a mandar. Seguramente se lo van a mandar luego por correo, pero lo que les sugería, ¿verdad? Para que seamos prevenidos, copiémoslo en un documento aparte, el, 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 el mensaje de WhatsApp, para que así podamos eh, ser capaces de copiar partes específicas del mensaje que necesitamos. Ajá. Para prevenir, pero si le mandan el correo adelante, más adelante, entre, ¿qué? Miércoles o jueves, perfecto. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. ¿En, eh, ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿No? ¿Todo claro? Muy bien. De igual manera, siempre hacer el recordatorio de que vayamos trabajando la plataforma en avanzado, ¿verdad? Si podemos. O que la llevemos al día, por lo menos. Ya que el día viernes, a más tardar, eh, antes de la sesión, eh, ya deben de, de tener terminado su trabajo, ¿ok? De la semana. Incluyendo el examen final, de, 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 de final term, ¿ok? Para que, porque en, estas, en la última semana, recuerden que hacemos la tarea de la semana, la sesión 4, 
y también realizamos el examen eh, final, ¿verdad? Así que son dos actividades a, a dejar completadas, las, la sección o la semana más el examen eh, de las, después de las cuatro semanas. Muy bien, si no hay alguna otra pregunta, entonces le paso asistencia rápidamente. No questions? Everything clear. Ok, no se me vayan a adelantar entonces con la encuesta, ok? Ok, let's start with the attendance. Ada? Present. Adriana? Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Azalia? Present, good evening. Good evening. Ahora sí le di más tiempo a los que se conectaron un poquito después. Darwin? No podía, teacher. Me estaba fallando la, la máquina, muy lenta. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay, don't worry. The most important is that you're here, okay? Darwin? Thank you, teacher. Present, Darwin? teacher. Okay, Flor? Present, teacher. Very good. Gloria? Gloria? Carla? Present, teacher. Margarita? I'm here. All right, Mayra. Present. Miguel. Nelson. Present. Very Miguel good, puso un mensaje por ahí, teacher. Ah, ok, ya le vamos. ¿En el WhatsApp o aquí en el chat? En WhatsApp. Ok, I will check in a moment. Ya vamos a revisar entonces. I will check in a moment. All right, let's see. Ofelia. Sí, teacher. Sí, Very teacher. good. Osmin. Present teacher. Rafa. Present. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. Yancy. Yancy. Zulma. Present. Elwin. Ingrid. Lourdes. Ingrid escribió en el, en el chat, teacher. Tiene una ah. reunión con, importante de su hija, creo. Ok, ok. Thank you, Margarita. ¿Lourdes? En el chat de Zoom. Ok, I will check. ¿Lourdes? Present, teacher. Present. Ok, Oscar. Susana. All right, very good. Uh, so, everybody, uh, welcome to this... Um, Session number 18, okay? Uh, you know that in the module we have 20 sessions, right? So this is session number 18, okay? So welcome and for today we are going to continue with the simple past, okay? But this time we will study the simple past but using other verbs, not using was or where, okay? But talking about was and where, uh, what did you study yesterday? What did you study yesterday? We studied the negative of was and where, right? And the question ah. the verb in the past was or where. Exactly. We studied questions, okay? We studied questions with was and where, all right? And what did we say about the questions? How do you make a question using was or where in the past? How do you make a question? What is the structure to follow? What is the structure to follow? The structure is verb to be. Okay. Verb to be. Okay. 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 Okay the day before yesterday, last year, last month, last week, two days ago, all right? So we can use time expressions too. Very good. Now, another question. And if I, if I want to use what, when, where, who, with what or where, what is uh, the structure? ¿Cuál es la estructura? If I want to use what, where, when, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Okay. W-H questions. W-H questions. W-H questions. Was and where? Subject. 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 Complement. Complement. So, so basically, it's the same structure, okay? It's the same structure, except 
Okay, except that I put when, what, yes. where, or when, or who at the beginning. Pongo eso al principio, okay? Yeah, and the answer is different, okay? For example, if I say, when was the party? Yes, I do. No, right? No, that's incorrect, okay? I mean, when was the party? Oh, it was on Monday. So it's an open question, all right? It's not a just no question, okay? Or if I ask you, um, what was the price of the product? No, it wasn't. No, no, okay, that's incorrect. What was the price of the product? Okay, no, it wasn't, it's correct. So the answer is maybe it was $20, okay? So it's an open question, okay? Or imagine I ask you, uh, hey, uh, where was the training? Where was the training? And you say, oh yes, it was interesting. No, right? No, that's incorrect, okay? Where was the training? It was at Crown Plaza Hotel, for example, okay? Or it was in my, in the meeting room, for example. Yeah, the place. All right, this is just to, to, to refresh a little bit. So let's para recordar un poquito, just to refresh a little bit, okay? Uh, Osmin, I don't know, uh, do you have a question? No? No, teacher, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, very good. So uh, so please, uh, in this moment, uh, we are going to take like 10 minutes uh, to practice, okay? And I have some exercises, okay? I have some exercises that I want you to complete in groups, okay? I have some exercises that I want you to complete in groups. Please write only the answers, okay? Write only the answers, okay? Si escriben todo, no vamos a terminar. So please write only the answers on your notebook, okay? Very good. What are you going to complete in this moment? Here I have some sentences, okay? And, and for these uh, sentences, uh, you need to use... Um, well, was or where to complete, okay? Um, and if it's negative, you need to use wasn't or weren't, okay? If it's negative, use wasn't or weren't. Let's see number one. Last year, my best friend, what is correct? Wasn't. Was. Was, was, was is correct. You say was. Last year, my best friend was 22 years old, okay? So if it's negative, aquí lo indica si es negativo en paréntesis, uh, you say wasn't or weren't, okay? If it's a question, aquí está el signo de interrogación, if it's a question, okay? So do you have any question? No? If you don't have questions, si no tienen preguntas, entonces háganle una captura al ejercicio, make a screenshot. Esta, esta no está en, en el libro, ¿verdad? No, no, eso no está en el libro. This is not on the book. Háganle una captura, make a screenshot, please. Everyone, todos. Yes. Make yes. a screenshot. Alguien lo puede poner en WhatsApp, please. Yes. Are you ready? Mm. Are you ready? Yes. No. Yes. yes. Okay. Another screenshot, otra captura, another screenshot. We have 20 examples, okay? Solo van a escribir la respuesta para que no nos tardemos mucho. The idea is to practice only, okay? Another screenshot, please. Otra captura, porque aquí, aquí hay otros 10 ejemplos. We have other 10 examples. Make another screenshot. Yeah, it's different. This is different. We have 20 examples. No, no, it's different. Okay, gracias. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, so this is from 1 to 10, de la 1 a la 10, and this is from 11 to 20, de la 11 a la 20, okay? Please, I repeat, write only the answers, okay? So on your notebooks, you will write only the answers. En sus libretas solo escriban la número 1 y la respuesta, no toda la oración, porque si escriben toda la oración, se nos va a ir la clase solo en esto, okay? The idea is to practice. Yeah. Okay, so please write only the answers, okay? So do you have any question? No. So maybe. No. The... Y de la 11 a la 20, esa también. Yes, yes. La, los 20 ejemplos, the 20 examples. But ¿Puede only the answers. Vez que no, no yeah. yeah, sure. But uh, write only the answers, okay? Solo hay que ver las respuestas nada más. Was, wasn't, or was, or where, okay? Ready? Moment. 
Moment, please. Oh, all right. Es que no me deja. Oh, my goodness. Es que está muy chiquito la pantalla. Listo. All right. Um, um, maybe uh, to make it uh, to make it more simple, maybe one one person in the group can share a uh, screen. Tal vez alguien del grupo puede compartir pantalla para que todos vayan viendo. So everybody is looking at the at the sentences. Okay. Um, I just have a question. Uh, Margarita, are you going to work on this activity? Zulma, Azalia. Yes, para ver la imagen. Me paso a, a yeah. la galería y se apaga. La it's comida. okay, it's okay. I understand. I only want to make sure you are going to participate, okay? It's okay. I understand. Ah, uh, Zulma, yes, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, teacher. All right, Sandra. Yeah, I connect with my cell phone. All right, all right. I'm teacher, soy el oyente. Oh, okay, okay. Ophelia? Yes, Oh, English says she's only listening, right? All right, very good. So uh, then let's make groups and let's work um, together, okay? So please make sure everybody participates, okay, in the activity. Okay, let's go to work. Angela, please accept the invitation. Let's go to work. Okay, excuse me, teacher. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I... Yes. Okay. The first. Um, Talking about best friend is was really yes was year old yeah okay yes wasn't the second the first word is was because the word is like it yes wasn't uh, no no no. No, porque no tiene el signo negativo al final. Se va a ocupar wasn't o weren't cuando al final de la oración tenga un negativo. Ah, ya, yeah. cierto. Ajá. Entonces sería, right. were was, could when we, como we son varios, sería were, ¿verdad? Were. Well. Ok. Uh, la write, write the answers, okay? Write the answers. Number one and write the answers. Number two and write the answers, okay? Sí, cada quien en su cuaderno. Exactly. Ajá. Okay. Repeat number two. La tres. Eh. Está hablando de you. Entonces tiene que ser where. Where. Why where. Okay. What is the eh, number? What number? Four. Habla de Sandra, tiene que ser was, porque es tercera persona. Sí. La quinta es hablando we, de varios, tiene que ser where. Sí, y where. Y después está hablando because it, ajá, entonces es was. Was. Uh -huh. La sexta, sí. Number six, persona. number six. Nombre. Number six, number seven. Ah, está en... <risa> negativo. Disculpen que están hablando aquí en mi casa. Perdonen. Eh, team. La cinco. Number five. Number five. Five. <risa> y was. And the second was, ¿verdad? Uh, the number six team well, is uh, was, was wasn't wasn't uh -huh. wasn't seven hotel was 
It was. Really? What was? It was. Okay. It, I found that you weren't because the, the end is a negative. But you weren't, ¿verdad? I'm hungry or hungry or Teacher, hungry is enojado or is hungry? Which sentence? Which sentence? Which sentence? Sentence number? Number three. Number three. Why, why were you? No, so angry. Hungry? No, I was. No. Uh -huh. Why were uh, you so angry what? yesterday? Uh -huh. Angry. Ang angry. Yeah. Angry is like. Hambre. Angry. No, no, no. Uh -huh. Hungry is hambriento. Hungry is hambriento. Uh -huh. Porque estaban enojados ayer. Yes, exactly. Están enojados. So angry. Why were? Why were, chicos? Thank you, teacher. All right. Why were you so angry yesterday? At, at time last year. Yes, it's where. It's number yes. three is where. Where. Teacher, why is where mm -hmm. in number three? Yeah, because you are using no, because you are using you, you. Remember that for I, you, we, they, you say. Uh, I mean, for sorry, for you, we, they, you say where, you, we, they, or plural, you say where. Okay. Yes, the plural is where. Exactly. He, she, it is was. And I, uh, and I, I, he, she, I, it, and I, I is was, was. I, he, okay. she, it. Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I got it. At this time last year, Sandra, um, she uh, was, 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 yes. yes. She was, is number three. Was ah, ah, but listen, but you, you don't have to say she, okay? It's only was, because you need to complete the exercise only using was, where, or wasn't or weren't, see, and negativo, if it's negative, okay? You have the subject here, the subject is Sandra, okay? So you say Sandra was, okay? Sandra yes. was in Paris, okay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay. In five. Paris. We were tried Paris. because, the five, we were. Mm -hmm. We were, mm -hmm. exactly. We were trying. We were. Cansado porque. Yeah. It, it was. It was. It, it was. It was. It was late. It's okay. It's okay, Nelson. It was. It was late because it was late at night. At night. Tim mm -hmm. was asleep. Tim, I know. Tim. Tim is like here, right? Mm -hmm. He means yes. como decir he. Uh -huh. Yes. Was. Was a little bit of yesterday. Ah, uh, it's negative. Yesterday is negative. It's mm -hmm. wa warrant. Tim es un, nombre de, es un nombre de persona. Yes. Okay. It was. It's a uh, article. Uh -huh. Okay. He. But is it is seven? Oh no, see, it's six. Uh, is negative. Is wasn't. Oh. Seven. Or hotel last year. Thing was it? Wasn't. Is mm -hmm. negative. It is number six, number seven. Our hotel okay. last year. Um, oh. It's a plural. Mm -hmm. It's a where. So, yeah. Yes. Or where. Where is the number, Nuestro... number seven is where the fear. Where. Where is more. But. It's, was. It's was. Work. 
It's very clear. Yeah. A. Aha. It's a fossil. Este teacher que se mete ahí en donde debe aparecer el texto. But this fossil, teacher. Sorry. Yes. Number 13. Number 13. Okay, let me check. 11. 11. Let me check. Eleven. Yeah, it's positive. It's positive. Okay. My friends were. Were. Claire. Claire and I weren't. Were. Weren't. Weren't. Were. At school last month. Yes. Number 13 is question. Is question. Uh -huh. Was Liam at home when you came back from? From what? Was. Was Liam at home when you came back? Okay. Was number 13. Was the fourteen is where they this were. Was. They didn't tell where they were. They, they didn't tell where they were. Oh, no. Autumn what? Confused. It's confused. What is autumn? Autumn is a time of the year. Right? It's a season of the year. It's like winter. Okay, in the year we have four seasons, right? Winter, summer, spring, and autumn. What is autumn? Otoño. Otoño, exactly. Is autumn what? Where? Eh, was? Was? Autumn what? When Tom? When? Was Tom Tom was and he was he was 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 okay. indica que me correcto la séptima okay, number eh, seven quedó... séptima Number seven. Number seven. <laughs> okay. Number seven. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Our hotel is here. Teníamos esa duda, ¿verdad? Was. 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 Sí. Ah, ok. Sería was entonces. Aquí está el teacher que nos saque de la duda. Ajá. Was. Was, yes. not was. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. The thing is that a uh, hotel is singular. It's one hotel, right? Our hotel. Okay. All right. So you say was. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's Mayra is correct. Okay. But it was very clean. Was. But it was very clean. Exactly. Okay. okay. I found it you at the weekend. But you were, or you weren't. Weren't, correct. Yes, because the, the sign minus. Uh, my dad was, was at work. Es no, I, yes, yes, my wasn't. My dad wasn't, wasn't at work, okay. Uh, the shops uh, were, were. Were open yesterday. The shop were open yesterday, okay. Exactly. 
my friends eh, where 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 eh, sí verdad sí where no tiene signo negativo okay. where, where at the shopping mall two days ago yes Claire Claire en la doce nos quedamos okay Claire in my eh, where 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 sí. where 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 eh, ah, esta pregunta sería was was Lian, yes was Lian is he sí they didn't tell me they didn't tell me where they where where is where mm -hmm. but I don't know if the if the didn't uh, change the change the the verb in negative. No, no, teacher. No, no. No. Okay. No, no. They they were entonces. They mm -hmm. were. They were. O tú. O tú. Fifteen. What is the meaning of autumn? Autumn. Otoño. Otoño. Ah, otoño. Otoño. Oh, oh Antonio. Okay. Eso sería eh, was. Was. Sí. Yes. Was. was really warm. Was really yes. Warm. Okay, was 16. Solo Plus. era la, la 9, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay. Now you start. Okay. Last year my best friend was 22 years old. Number two, the weather was cool when we were in Berlin. Was on a 13. Eh, la 15. La 15. It was, was really warm and dry. Here. I went on. Teacher. Yeah. Yeah, it says it was. Autumn. Is what is the meaning? Autumn is like in in the year we have four seasons, right? We have winter, summer, spring, and autumn. What is autumn? Oh, really otoño. Know. Otoño. Okay. El otoño. Well, in this case, autumn is el otoño. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, but but it's uh, autumn. I know, I don't know what is the meaning. Otoño, el otoño. Otoño, yes. Ah, uh, ah, okay. es was. Thank you. Okay. Yo yes. pensé que era un nombre de... No, no. <laughs> otoño. Dice, eh, en el church, number 13, eh, eh, uh, only eh, eh, his question, eh, eh, the answer the, the, the is question, but I, I, I have the only once or, 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 or I use a, a, a... No, only once. It's okay. Only, only once. once. Was Liam okay. at home. Was Liam okay. at home. Okay. Only that. Okay. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> Creí que tenía que ser el auxiliar. No, no, no. no. Uh, was es el auxiliar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The numbers... 16 when cuando Tom fue con, con el niño con su hijo el pequeño was he he was afraid of ah he was cuando Tom fue a child was and I think say it was it was no was was yes when Tom was a child he quickly, was quickly. afraid of Tom. Nos faltan cuatro, podemos que ya nos vamos a de yes. regreso. Teacher. <laughs> en la diecisiete there were there were there were there were were yes it's negative. My daughter uh, is was the 
Seahouse. La 18 hueva. Was, does, is it my, my daughter, is a, is a plural, la 18, no? My daughter, let me see, no, my daughter, is a Sí, mis hijos, dice. Mis hijos. No, verdad, teacher, solo estaba hablando de mi hija. No. Okay, everyone. Uh, so I really hope everybody finished uh, the sentences, right? I know there were many sentences, 20 sentences, basically, right? Okay. So I really hope everyone um, finished, okay? So let's see, uh, we are going to chair and for this, I will select uh, some participations, okay? Directly, let me share. Okay, so let's go to number, we completed number one, right? So number one is, um, so number one is last year, my best friend was 22 years old. Okay, let's see number two, Ada. Ada, number two. Uh, number two is was where? Okay, no, read the sentence. Read the sentence. Oh, the okay. weather, the Life. weather, the weather. Life. Yeah, number two. The weather. Uh -huh. Continue. Life. Was. Was and where? Continue, continue. Ah, este, number three, where? No, 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 listen. Read the, all the sentence. Lea toda la oración. All the sentence. Number okay. two. Last year. No, number two. Number the, number weather, two. The, see, the weather was cold when we were um, in Berlin. Excellent. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, the weather was cold when we were in Berlin. Thank you very much, Ada. Number three, uh, Adriana. Is Adriana connected? No? Okay, Michelle. Number number three. Okay. Why were you so angry yesterday? Very good. That's excellent. Why were you so angry yesterday? Thank you, Michelle. That's very good. Number uh, four. Let's listen to Angela. Oh. Um, At this time last year. Uh, this. Uh, huh. At this time last year, Sandra was in Paris. In Paris, that's excellent. Sandra was. Thank you, Angela. Asalia, Asalia number five. We were tired because it was late at, at night. Excellent, okay. We were tired because it was late at night. Very good, Asalia, thank you very much. Number six, let's listen to Darwin. Number Darwin. six. Okay. Sin wasn't asleep at 10 o'clock yesterday. Excellent. So it's negative. Thank you, Darwin. Tim wasn't or was not. Okay. Asleep. Thank you, Darwin. Number seven, floor. Floor, are you connected? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Seven. Um, our hotel. Our our hotel last year uh, were small, but it was very clean. Okay, that's good. Listen to this. Our hotel last year where? Is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. It's incorrect. So the correct form it's is was. was. Was, right? Yes, maybe the confusion is because we have our. No, but the, the subject is hotel, is one hotel. So it's singular, okay? Our hotel, one hotel. Last year was, you say was a small, okay? Was and was, okay? Thank you okay, very much, teacher. Flor. Okay, correct it, please. Number eight, let's listen to Carla. Number eight, Carla. I found you at the weekend, but you weren't at home. Very good, it's negative, weren't. Thank you, Carla. Weren't or were not is correct, okay? Number uh, nine, Margarita. Margarita, are you there? Number nine. 
Okay, Mayra. Number nine, Mayra. My dad wasn't at work the whole week because he was ill. Excellent. So the, the answer is wasn't, right? Negative, okay? Or was not. Thank you, Mayra. Let's listen to Miguel, number 10, the shops. Hey, teacher. The, the shops. Uh, the shops were open yesterday, but we didn't go there. Excellent. The shops were. That's right. Why where? Because the shops is plural, right? The shops is yes, it's plural. plural. So we say where. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you very much. <sighs> Number 11. Let's listen to Nelson. Nelson, number 11. My, for you. Friend, my friend works at the shopping mall two, day, two days ago. Perfect. Okay, my friends where? Okay, my friends where? Thank you, Nelson. Number okay. uh, 12. Let's listen to Ophelia. Number 12, Ophelia. Claire and I. Yes, was. Okay, uh, Ophelia says number 12 is was. Claire and I was at school last month. What do you think, everybody? Is where because it's plural. Uh, where or weren't? Weren't. Uh, weren't because it's negative, that's right. So Claire, Claire and I weren't or were not, right? At school last Monday, last Monday, sorry. Thank you. Number 13, let's listen to Osmin. Number 13, yes. okay. Uh, was Leon at home when you came back from work? Exactly. Was Liam. All right. Thank you, Osmin. Number 14, Rafa. Rafa, hello. Are you there? Sorry. They didn't tell where they were on May 2nd. That's very good. So where they were. Okay, thank you, Rafa. That's very good. Number 15, Rosa. Autumn. Okay, autumn was really warm and dry this year. Very good. Autumn was. Thank you, Rosa. Number 16, Sandra. When Tom. Sandra. Okay, Sulma. Number? Number 16, Gwentom. Um, she wasn't at home when they broke into her house. It's uh, Gwentom. Gwentom, number 16. Gwentom. I sorry. Um, Gwentom was a child. He was a Afraid of dogs. That's very good. When Tom was a child, he was afraid of dogs. Very good. Uh, Lourdes, yes. number six, number 17, Lourdes. 17. There. there. There was a good movie on TV at prime time. It's negative, Lourdes. Mm, okay. There was or there wasn't? There wasn't. There wasn't because it's negative, Lourdes. Thank you, Lourdes. There wasn't. Uh, well, we have no more. Oscar, are you here? No? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's see number. Okay, Oscar, number uh, 18, my daughters. My daughters were in the USA two years ago. Excellent. My daughters were. Number 19 is she wasn't. She wasn't, right? She wasn't at home when they broke into her house. And number 20 is what? What? Where? What? 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 Where? Where? What was? What was? Porque el sujeto es success. Success. Y success is singular, mm -hmm. okay? So what was your okay. biggest success as professional, okay? As a professional. What was? All right, everyone. Um, so, um, I know it was a lot of work, but the idea with this activity uh, was to internalize the use of was, where, was, and, and wearing, okay? So uh, I guess now it's clear, right? Now it's clearer than ever, okay? So now let's go to the next activity. 
In the next activity, uh, we have some questions, okay? We always have some questions. And the questions are, question number one. Okay, let me, let me show you here. Question number one is, where do trainings take place in your company? Take place is like happen, okay? Uh, where do the trainings take place in your company? You can say in the meeting room or in the conference room, I don't know, okay? If you have a space for this or uh, on the court, I don't know, all right? On the whole, you tell me, okay? Second question, who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? Eligible. Ah, you can say maybe uh, the managers or the, the supervisors, I don't know. Why? Ah, because later they pass the information to the other employees. You can say, I don't know. Okay, I'm just giving you ideas, okay? Yeah? Okay, so try to answer the two questions, please, quickly. Ah, uh, take place is like happen, right? Okay. And the meaning of take place is like happen, okay? Where do trainings take place? Is like, donde, donde se llevan a cabo las capacitaciones, o donde suceden, okay? So take place is llevar a cabo, o tomar lugar, all right?
teacher. Tell me. Is correct uh, say multi-purpose room? Uh, yes, you can say that. Okay. What do you want to say in Spanish? Sorry. Ah, sala de multiusos. Lo que pasa es que esa sala así se le llama porque es la más grande, entonces se pueden hacer conferencias, el lanzamiento de marca. Okay, eh, I, entre... I get it. I get it. It's okay. I guess you have to say multitask. But let me check, okay? Okay. Yeah, you say multi-purpose. It's okay, Margarita. Multi-purpose okay. room. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, uh, I'll give you one more minute, okay? One more minute. Or two minutes, all right? Dos minutos más, two more minutes. I can see Margarita finished. Or is that you had a question, Margarita? Finish. Ah, okay, perfect. Miguel, did you finish? Yes. Oscar? Yes, teacher. Yes, all right, very good. Okay, uh, the pronunciation of the questions is, question number one, the pronunciation is, where do trainings take place in your company? Where do trainings take place in your company, okay? Question number two, the pronunciation is, who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? Why? Who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? Why? Okay. Eligible. Eligible people. The eligible people. Okay. Very good. So um, let me make a screenshot because I don't have the questions close to me. And ah, well, the idea is that I hope everyone finished. Well, the idea is um, that, let me see, to select some pairs. Okay. To select some pairs. 
I will select some pairs. And the idea is that they ask the questions to each other, okay? For example, if I select Adriana and Miguel, Miguel will ask Adriana and Adriana will ask Miguel, okay? The same questions, okay? And then I select another uh, pair, okay? So do I have two volunteers to start? I need two volunteers to start. Sure. Yes. Okay, Margarita and Osmin, all right? Okay, yeah. and Angela later. Okay, Margarita and Osmin. So, Margarita, you ask the questions first. Okay. Osmin, where do trainings take place in your company? Yes, in the multipurpose room. Yes. Continue, the, Margarita. From? Margarita. Okay. Who are the eligible people to go to the trainings at your workplace? Why? Those who have responsibility directly that customer. Customer. Customers. Customer. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Those who are responsible. Okay. Thank you very much, Osmi. Now, Osmi, you ask Margarita. Okay, Margarita, where uh, do training like place in your company? In my company, the training take place in meeting rooms and multi multi-purpose room. Oh yeah. Uh, the second question: Who are the eligible? people to go to training at your workplace? It depends the topic to teach because for departments choose the people to attend the training. Sometimes there are two or more departments together receiving the training. Yeah. Okay, very good. So it depends on the training. Margarita? No, it depends the topic to teach. Ah, on in the, the topic, on the topic of the training. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Margarita and Osmin. Okay, so please everyone go to reactions and let's give them a heart. Go to reaction and let's give Margarita and Osmin a heart. Okay. Thank you, Osmin and Margarita. Now let's yeah. listen to another pair. We have Angela. Okay, Angela is volunteering. Do we have another volunteer to practice with Angela? Carla, I think. Teacher. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, okay, Asalia then. Asalia, and then we leave Carla with another volunteer. Okay, so let's listen to Asalia and mm -hmm. Angela then. All right. Asalia, you ask first. After Asalia and Angela, we listen to Carla and Nelson. Okay, so Angela and Asalia. Asalia, you ask the questions first. Okay. Where do training take place in your company, Angie? Yes, if they, <clears throat> excuse me, usually do it in the a hotel, for example. Okay. What are the el elig eligible teacher? Eligible. Eligible people, eligible people to go to training at your workplace. Uh, eligible people are, for example, those who are going to be promoted to a new position within the company. Okay, very good. So the people who are supposed to be promoted, they are eligible for the trainings. Okay, that's yes. very interesting. Thank you, Angela. So Angela, now you ask uh, Ophelia, the uh, I mean, Asalia, the questions. <laughs> okay, Asalia. Melanie, where do training take place in your company? In my company is in, in conf conference room and virtual. Okay. Who are the elig eligible, eligible. eligible people to go to training at your company? Why? Um, Employees are train, trained. Employees, all right. Hello, teacher. Right. Se me corta. 
Because allows employees to plan, improve, and carry out their activities more efficient, efficiently in collaboration with other members of the organization. Excellent. Interesting. Very good. Okay, I like it. Very good, Asalia and Angela. Okay, so please, everybody, go to reactions. And let's Thank give you. them a heart, okay? Let's give them a heart. Thank you very much for your participation, okay? Very good. Now I have a question for everybody. I want to see if you are paying attention, okay? I want you to pay attention. So the question is, um, uh, where do trainings take place at Angela's company? The hotel. Ah, exactly, in a hotel, right? In a hotel. Uh, where do trainings take place in Asalia's company? She meeting okay. room. Meeting room? Are you sure? Um, it's online. Ah, okay, one. one. Okay, she said virtually and the other? Virtually and? 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 Virtual. It's a yeah, virtual. what is virtually? But she mentioned two options, okay? Virtually and? Of a, uh, I mean, Asalia? Virtually conference and room. At the conference room, she said, okay? Pay attention, pay attention. <laughs> All right, very good. Thank you very much. All right, let's listen now to Carla and Nelson, right? Carla and Nelson. You start, Carla. Okay, where do you... Where do training take place in your company, Nelson? Um, where uh, there is usually a meeting room and same of training are scheduled there. Okay. Who are um, eligible people to go to training in your place? It depends on what time is a training. For example, it could be customer service or another department, such as technical area. Okay. Okay, thank you. Return the questions. Uh, Carla, where do training take place in your in your company? In my company. All training or course are online. If, if a training for the use of a new tool, for example, and there will be a facilitator is by Teams. And we also have our own website where we can take all kinds of training rela related to area and all kind of course. Okay, very, very interesting. Okay, thank okay. you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Nelson and Carla. So please yeah. everybody go to go to reaction and let's give them a wow, right? Let's I give them a otra pregunta. Oh, sorry, I'm Number sorry. Two. I'm sorry, now I was not I was not paying attention now, oh my God, all right? <laughs> so ask the second question, Nelson, please, all right? Okay. Carla, who are the eligible people to go to training and you will come with workplace and way? In my company, we all qualify for training. And when it is a common training, for example, we have up to uh, uh, 100 people from the different countries and continents taking of the course. And there are other schools where participate of employees are uh, different areas. Uh, but for the general, all employees will have a training plan to develop development during the years. Okay. Good. 
Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now they finish. All right, now please everybody go to reactions and let's give them a wow, all right? Okay, uh, okay, Nelson and Carla, thank you very much for sharing the information and the people who participated. Thank you very much. All right, uh, I just have a question for the next activity because I was, uh, I was writing some names here. Um, let's see, Mayra, are you participating? Are you participating in the next activity? Hello, Mayra. Tengo una llamada de trabajo ahorita, okay. teacher. Ok, pregunto, porque, pregunto solo para tomarlos en cuenta, porque sé que están con la cámara apagada. Sandra? Sandra? No, 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 teacher. Ok, ok, thank you. ¿Ingrid? Present, teacher. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Ok, para, para, para incluirla en la siguiente actividad, por eso estoy consulta, haciendo la consulta. Ofelia sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí, teacher. Ofelia sí. Sí, teacher. Solo que apago okay. la cámara porque se me paga. Ajá, no. Sí, por eso les hago la consulta, para incluirlos, ¿ok? Uh, ok, let's see. Um, uh, let me see who's missing. ¿Quién me falta? No, now I have everyone, ¿ok? If I am missing one, please tell me, ¿ok? Now listen. For the next activity, we are going to make groups, ¿ok? And we are going to have one leader for each group, ¿ok? We are going to have one leader for each group. Uh, but let me pass the attendance first. Primero paso asistencia. Ada? Present, teacher. Adriana. Present. Michelle. Present. Angela. Present, teacher. Azalia. Present. Darwin. Present, teacher. Flor. Present. Gloria. Carla. Present. Margarita. I'm here. Mayra. Present. Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present. Ofelia. Osmin. Okay, Osmin. Present, present teacher, present. R Rafael. Present. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. Yancy. Zulma. Present. Elwin. Ingrid. Ingrid. Present. Lourdes. I'm here, teacher. Oscar. Present. Susana. Present. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, I was saying, uh, for the next activity, uh, we are going to make some groups, okay? And I have the groups already. I, I didn't pay attention to Carla because I was making the groups. I'm sorry, Carla, okay? I didn't pay so much attention because I was making the groups, okay? I'm sorry. Okay, um, so we are going to make groups and the idea is uh, that we are going to have uh, one leader for each group, okay? Uh, in the groups, we are going to do the following. Pay attention here, okay? Pay attention here. Uh, on page number 43, okay? On page number 43, we have a conversation, yeah? Page number 43 on your manual, okay? We have a conversation and we have three questions, okay? We have a conversation and we have three questions. Okay, listen, listen carefully. In the groups, first, you are going to answer the questions, okay? You are going to answer the questions on your notebooks, but only the answers, okay? Solo la respuesta para que no se tarde mucho. And then the leader, uh, we'll pronounce the conversation for everybody and they will repeat. The leader is in, is in charge of giving the correct pronunciation to the group, okay? And then uh, you practice, okay? And then you practice the conversation when you are sure the pronunciation is correct, okay? Pueden hacer un ejercicio de repetición. You can have a repetition activity. Uh, is it clear? It's clear. Yeah. It's clear. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, so I repeat, the leader is in charge of the pronunciation of the group, okay? Everybody has to pronounce the conversation very well. So the leader is in charge of it. The leader is in charge of it, so the leader is in charge of it, okay? And two activities. First, answer the three questions. Second, practice the pronunciation of the conversation with your leader. 
and practice the conversation, okay? Take turns practicing the conversation in the groups. Okay, very good. Um, now let's see. Who, who is leader, teacher? I'm going there. I have the groups here, don't worry. I have the groups here. Okay, uh, please remember uh, the number of your group. Remember the number of your group, okay? Pay attention here, please. Para que no se les olvide luego y no sepan a qué grupo van a ir. So the first uh, group number one is Carla. Carla is the leader. Carla and the participants, Nelson and Angela. Carla, Nelson and Angela, group number one, okay? Group number two, the leader is Oscar. And the participants, Flor and Lourdes. Oscar, Flor and Lourdes, okay? Group number three, group number three, the leader is Miguel. And the, the members, Darwin and Susana. Darwin, Susana, and Miguel, all right? Miguel is the leader. Number four, num group number four. The leader is Margarita and uh, the, the, the members, Adriana and Michelle. Adriana, Michelle, and Margarita. Number four, group number five. Rosa is the leader. And in the group, we have Ada, Osmin, and Ofelia. Ada, Osmin, and Ofelia, okay? And finally, group number six. For group number six, we have Sulma is the leader. Sulma and Rafa, okay, two leaders. If Rafa participates, see, see Rafa se nos agrega, okay. Ah, see, yes, yeah, he's connected. Sulma and Rafa are the leaders, okay? And the participants, Sandra and Ingrid. Sandra and Ingrid, if Sandra gets connected. Se me quedó alguien fuera de los equipos? Do I have anybody out of the groups? Mayra, I don't know if you are participating or you have the call. Todavía estoy en llamada. Ah, ok, ok, no problem, it's ok. ¿Alguien? Yes. ¿Puede repetir las indicaciones de lo que vamos a hacer? Perdón. <laughs> it's ok. Uh, the, so the, the conversation or the activity is on page number 43. Ok, the activity is on page number... Let me share. Let me share here. Let me share. So you're clear. Ok. 43. The conversation is on page number 43, okay? First, you are going to answer the three questions, okay? On exercise number three. Answer the questions on exercise number three, okay? And then, Carla, um, you are going to be in charge of pronouncing the conversation, pronouncing and repeating the conversation, the pronunciation, okay? Vas a, van a estar a cargo de que pronuncien bien toda la conversación, ¿ok? Ya. Yeah? Ah, okay. And then you okay. practice the conversation in the groups. In the groups, oh. practice the conversation, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. All right, no problem. Any question? No? Ok, so uh, this time I will make the groups differently, ¿ok? You will choose the groups. Esta vez ustedes van a elegir el grupo que les dije, ¿ok? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, ya no, ya no va a ser que solo les mando la invitación y ustedes van a entrar. Van a entrar. Perdón, no. Ustedes eligen el grupo que les dije. Todos tienen el número de grupo que les di, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. So that's the number of group you have. Okay. Let's go to work. I will give you like 10 or 15 minutes for this activity. Okay. Yo, yo no, teacher. A mí no me mencionó. Ah, por eso pregunté si alguien, alguien no había mencionado que estaba fuera de un equipo. ¿Quién? Who? Sí, que no podía hablar porque se It's pusieron okay. ahí. It's okay, don't worry. Asalia, then you go with um, with Oscar. Group number two, Asalia. Group number two, okay? Asalia? Hello? Okay, teacher. Group number two, okay, group number two. Okay, let's go to work. Okay, let me make the groups. All right, now select the group I told you, please. Select the group I gave you. ¿Dónde les aparece para los que algunos, porque algunos no pueden entrar a veces, ¿dónde les aparece la notificación para entrar a ustedes? En la En la parte derecha, on the right part? Yes, en la okay. ok, on the toolbar, on the right part of the toolbar, ok. Okay, yeah. Did you find the group? Fine. 
five groups, Mike. Ya encontraron el grupo. Did you find the group, Rosa? No. <laughs> Osmin? No. I know. Yes, right. I find. Yes, yeah. Okay. okay, in this moment, I enter. Okay, perfect. Ingrid? Yes. Okay, perfect. Only play, brother. Yeah. Okay. Rafa, está el compañero por ahí. Ay, la disculpa que me vengo toda angosta, pero ando con. Ah, sorry, sorry. Tenía my Microsoft, my Microsoft. Um, oh. Ah, no problem. Okay. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hi, yeah. Mr. Uh, Mr. Lewis. Uh, I'm host. Uh, host film for his skin. I know how to pronounce it. How to pronounce it? A skin or a skin? Then we practice. A Okay. Uh, yes. How was the training? Uh, I was excellent. The speaker uh, had, had a, a lot of experience. Uh, he was very. Uh, oh, yeah. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Very knowledgeable. 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 Yeah, knowledgeable. What means, teacher? Sorry? ¿Qué significa? I don't know the translation exactly, but a knowledgeable person is a person who knows a lot, que sabe mucho de algo. I don't know how to translate okay. it, really. Yeah. Es como, como una sobre brújula. Ajá. ¿Cómo es? Eh? Una persona que sabe mucho, pero no sé cómo traducirlo a español re en realidad. Ah, oh, ok. Ajá. Let me check. The, the translate. I have, I have the, the meaning, the, the definition, but I don't have the translation in Spanish, ok? But okay. let me check. Let me check. Continue. <laughs> Did he provide an example of the topic uh, he talked about? <laughs> yes, I did. And uh, he used a computer to provide an example. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right?
Oh, sorry. I'm with, uh, well, he was so my uh, minute uh, lay down the weight less very late. Okay. If you feel if you feel angry if you feel really bad don't don't push yourself okay not no no se fuerce demasiado si está realmente bastante mal de la garganta just listen to the pronunciation okay it's okay I understand me da ataque de tos porque lo toma cuando hablo mucho yeah it's okay it's okay just relax okay it's a knowledgeable is culto o conocedor culto o conocedor that's the translation okay Okay. Yeah. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Uh -huh. Knowledgeable. 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 Yeah, it's right. Uh -huh. Knowledgeable. Okay. Vaya. La primera pregunta dice: What kind of event did Eric attend? Um, and he has been very knowledgeable. 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 Experience and he was very very Okay, knowledgeable. Okay, Celia. It is was and the speaking. I has lot of experience and he was very no. No, well, no sé cómo pronuncias. No, no, no. Son no, like, no. like a, like a chip. No lechable. Como que dijera lechable. Uh, no lechable. No lechable. No, no, no lechable. Okay. No okay. lechable. No lechable. Okay. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Did he provide examples? Of the topic he talked about. Talk, talk about, talk about, about, talk yeah. about. Huh? Sounds like he talked about. Talk about. He talked about. 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 Yes. Sounds like. Sounds like he. Talked about. Talked about. Okay. Did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Talked about. Okay. Yes. Did he provide example of the topic? Talked about. Okay. Talked about. Okay. Talked about. 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 Talked He's total, total. Okay, talk about. Okay. Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Yes, he did. And I and he used a computer to provide examples. What's me? Was <laughs> okay, Ophelia. Yes, I I did and hello. Uh -huh, okay. Hello. Hello. Yes. 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 It was trained. The second question. What did the speaker use to provide example? Ah, he used a computer. Really? Yes. He used. He used. Ah, uh -huh. speaker. He used. 
a computer. Right, computer. Margarita. Margarita. You say he used a computer, right? Not really, okay? When you, when you want, I mean, when you want to, yeah, it's okay, I mean, but when you say really, it has a different purpose. You better say, right? He used a computer, right? You say, right, like, verdad? Say, right, okay? Right, okay. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's correct? It's similar. Mm, really, in this oh, no. case, maybe in this case, when you say really, uh, it's not possible because if you say he used a computer, really? It's like, really is like en serio and really de verdad, uh -huh. right? It's like, and, and what you want to say is verdad? Okay, that's what you want to say. So you say, right, right, ah. right? Ajá, es como, serious? Ajá, okay. Yeah. Okay. Continue. And really siento que es como una expresión de... De, de, como de admiración o de Ajá. asombro. Ajá. Yeah, it's mostly, it's, it's mostly like a question, like, really? Like, like surprise, what you're saying, or like, really? Like, oh my, I can't ah, believe surprise. it. Que no lo puedo creer, it's like surprise. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. What did Eric, Eric not like about the event? Uh, the training start some minutes late. And the speaker left very late. The final paragraph. Mm. What do you think? Yes, he was some minutes late. Mm -hmm. The speaker star. Some minutes late. And left very late. Rolls, uh, Susan, you're first, and Darwin, you're next. Okay. Antes, vamos a aprovechar que es el profesor. Ah, ok, yes. yes. ¿Cuál, yes. Es, cuál, es, ¿Cuál es la pronunciación de esta palabra, teacher? Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. It's knowledgeable. 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 Exactly. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Perfect. Ok. Okay. Go ahead. No sé si hay otra, Susan. There's another question. Only that. Only okay. that. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. Oh, hold welcome. on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mr. or Mrs.? Mrs. 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 Is Mrs. Okay. Mrs. Lewis. All right. In this case, Mrs. Lewis. Hello, Mrs. Lewis. All right, Mrs. No es Mr. No, no, Mr. es sin S, with no S, all right? In this case, it's Mrs., the pronunciation. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. All right, continue, continue. Uh, hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a, for a lot of experience and they was very knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we late, very late. Okay. Okay, uh, change roles. Uh, teacher, uh, this is the, the answer to the questions. Yeah, it was it. It was the training, it, uh -huh. a computer, the speaker was some minutes late, and they, all right? 
and they left very late and they left. And it was so many. Oh, minutes. Eric. Uh, and they, you say they. Instead know, of saying know, okay. we, you say we, you say they. And they left very okay. late. Okay. They fueron tarde ellos, okay? And they left they very, left late. very late. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. 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 Thank um, you. Okay. Um, now legible. 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 Now <laughs> Juguemos voleibol, dice. <laughs> Multiball. Yes. Let's do let's let's do it by parts. Hagámoslo en dos partes. Noble. 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 Jabol. 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 Oh, como, como, como decir ya voy, ya voy, pero en vez de decir la ya voy, dicen una L al final, ya voy. Ya voy. Ya voy. No le 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 ya voy. No voy a decir no le ya voy. 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 Continue. No le ya voy. Exactly. Complication. <laughs> it's experta. What is the traduction for and we left very late? No fuimos bien tarde. O terminamos. Ajá. No fuimos. But left is the opposite. Right. No, no, but in this case, left is the past tense of the verb leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the past of the verb leave. Es el pasado del verbo leave. Que es como partir o dejar, irse de un lugar. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sound good. Uh -huh. Okay. Use it. Okay. Um, we got it, the question. The, the answer. We finish. <laughs> A ver cómo nos va con el tiempo. Qué gran relajo que hizo. <risa> A veces nos reprueban. No, es correcto. Thank, thank you. Question. What key? Ya nos vamos, teacher. Yes. Good night, teacher. <laughs> nah, good evening. <laughs> Mañana no clase, ¿verdad? Hasta el jueves. No, vacation. Último día, teacher. Yes, before Thursday. Okay, everyone, uh, may, maybe just uh, for the pronunciation of some specific vocabulary, okay? Um, the word uh, knowledgeable, all right? The pronunciation is knowledgeable, 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 okay? Knowledgeable, all right? And the, the translation of this word is culto o conocedor, okay? Knowledgeable is culto o conocedor, okay? That's the translation for this uh, for this uh, Expert. word. Expert. Expert. Sorry? Expert. 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 Yes, I, I mean, but it's an adjective. It's an adjective, it's an adjective. Experto is, it means like, like a definition is a knowledgeable person 
is a person who knows a lot, okay, about something, right? Sabe mucho acerca de algo, knowledgeable. He is Eche, knowledgeable. Está fallando su internet. ¿Se escucha cortado? ¿Se yes. escucha? Yes. yes. Oh, ¿Ahora? ¿Se escucha mejor o siempre yes. cortado? Se escucha bien. Uh, mejor. Es es much better. Solo yes. me escucho bien. Imagen, nada Parece better. robot, teacher. Vale, voy a, entonces voy a quitar el video para que me escuchen bien, porque si most it's, important it's much is... Better. No, it's no, it sounds Maybe. good. It sounds no, good. Better. Ok, muy bien. So, uh, so I... I bien. Lo, to, ¿Todos no me escuchan bien? ¿Todos? ¿O solo alguien? Yo sí le escucho. Ah, ah, sí, ah, ok. Sí. Entonces, sí. seguramente sí. es la conexión que tienen ustedes para algunos, ok? Sí. It's not my internet connection. Ok, um, now listen. I was saying that the idea is that knowledgeable is like culto conocedor. Uh, for example, a knowledgeable speaker, okay, is a person who knows a lot about something. Sabe mucho de algo esa persona. So he is knowledgeable, okay? So that's the idea of this, uh, of this word, knowledgeable. And it's an adjective. Y es un adjetivo. It's an adjective. Okay, so you practice the conversation. So I won't stop in the pronunciation of the conversation. So lo urdes. Question number one, what kind of what kind of event did Eric attend, Lourdes? Okay, the training Eric yes. attends. A training, okay, that's very good. Thank yes. you, Lourdes, that's very good. Okay, let's listen to another uh, participation. Angela, uh, what did the speaker use to provide examples, Angela? Okay. Uh, he uses a computer. Exactly, he used a computer. Anna Michelle, Anna Michelle. What did Eric not like about the event, Anna Michelle? The speaker started some minutes late and they left very left. Exactly, the speaker started late and they left late, obviously, right? Because he started late, the agenda got a little late. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, that's very... Good. Okay. Um, now, now listen. Um, for the next part, please pay attention carefully. Stay focused. Okay. Estén bien enfocados. Stay very focused. I will use my my board. Okay. First, first I will use my board. Okay. Now listen. Um, on my board, I will explain some important things. Okay. Now listen. Uh, first, uh, I'm, I'm going to give you some, some verbs, okay? So listen, mm -hmm. uh, here we have some verbs like, uh, for example, the verb have, okay? The verb be, the verb, um, let me see, leave, for example, the verb leave, and the verb uh, go, all right? So these are some verbs. Now listen, these verbs, mm -hmm. the, question, the, the question for you is, are... are these verbs in present or in past? Are these present. verbs in present, right? Present. In present. present. In present. present. Now listen. Uh, what is the past of the verb have? Had. Had. Had, right? In past, you say had. Be for the verb to be? Was and where. Uh, was and where. Was and where. Lo que hemos estado estudiando. Was and where in the past yeah. right in black we have the past the past of the verb leave que es partir o irse de un lugar left 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 así como aparece en la conversación left we left very late okay left leave is like partirse partir perdón o irse de un lugar leave okay leave work for example not partirse right yes. partir o irse de un lugar okay i'm confusing you oh my god i'm confusing no 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 i'm sorry me lo había aprendido diferente partirse oh my goodness it wasn't my intention my intention wasn't that that was not my intention Mi intención no fue partirlos, ¿ok? <laughs> All right. Went. And now the past tense of the verb go is went, ¿ok? Went. So these, all these verbs are in past, ¿ok? Have, had, be, was, where, leave, left, go, went. Went. Okay. Now, listen, there's something important here. In English, we have 
regular and irregular verbs. Tenemos verbos regulares y verbos irregulares. Irregulares. Ok, estos son irregulares porque cambian su forma cuando los convertimos a pasado, en pasado, ok? They change the form, ¿ya? Yeah? Cambian su forma totalmente. They change their form. Ok, now I will go to other verbs. Now, look at the following verbs. I have the verb use. I have the verb uh, provide, for example. Okay. I have the verb um, study. Okay. I have the verb um, work. And I have the verb, uh, let me see, attend. Okay. I have the verb attend. Okay. Now I ask you, um, what is the past tense of the verb use? ¿Cómo convierto el verbo use a pasado? Uh, ah, I put letter D. Le pongo una letra D. Yes. I say use. Yes. Use. Very good. It's very easy, right? And provide. Provide. D. D. Provided. Provided. Provided in the past. En el pasado digo provided. For study? Yes. Change the Y for For eliminate. Ah, exactly. Y I change, I change Y for what? For E. I, e, D. I, e, D. I, e, D. Okay, Stand I it. change Y for, um, okay, hold on a second. For I, E, D, exactly. So I say yes. study. Le cambio study. la Y for E, D, okay? Uh, for work? Work. 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 E, D, uh, e, D. work. work. For attend? Work. E.D. E.D. E attended. Attended. So I say uh, used, provided, studied, worked, and attended. So now these verbs are regular. Estos verbos son regulares. These verbs are regular. Okay? They are regular. ¿Por qué son regulares? Why are they regular? Ah, easy, right? Porque no los cambiamos. Solo modificamos el verbo con una regla poniéndole de o ed. O ied, right? ¿Ya? Yeah? Por eso son regulares, porque no cambian su forma. Solo les ponemos de o ed. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, now, taking this in consideration. Ahora bien, tomando esto en consideración, taking this in consideration. Let's go to today's topic. Vamos al tema de hoy. Let's go to today's topic. Now, listen. Uh, in today's topic, we have the simple past, okay? And this is on page uh, number um, 44. 44. Now, 44, exactly. Page number 44. Oh. 44. Now, check this. Esta es la estructura a seguir. Um, si, if we want to ask a question, si queremos hacer una pregunta, primero usamos el did, right? Did, in this case. Hold on a second. Solo quiero ver algo aquí rápido. Yeah, okay. So, we use did for the question. Then we use... The subject. subject. Luego usamos el verbo y luego el complement, ¿ok? Yeah. Did, subject, verb, and complement. And we have some examples. Complement. Tenemos... Yes. Uh, muy bien. Now, in the question, en la pregunta, el verbo va en presente, no va en pasado. Solo en positivo vamos a usar el verbo en pasado, ¿ok? Now, listen. Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Did the speaker, the subject, use, que es el verbo, use, que es el verbo, and then a computer in the speech, que es el complemento. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Okay? Second question. Did the listeners ask questions? Did, el verbo auxiliar, the listeners, el sujeto, ask, el verbo, and questions, el complemento. Okay? Y de esa manera hacemos las Preguntas. That's how we ask or we make uh, questions. Now listen. Imagine I use the verb um, have. 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 Okay? In the present is have. Y en el pasado sería had. Des dijimos, right? We said that, okay? Uh, the question, if I want to ask a question using have, uso el have o uso el had en la pregunta? Have. 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 Porque voy a usar el verbo en presente en la pregunta. Ah, profe, pero estamos hablando en pasado. Sí. But pero el, the auxiliary. el auxiliar did hace el pasado. Ya el verbo no debe ir en pasado, ¿ok? The verb doesn't have to be in past. So the question would be, la pregunta quedaría, 
Did you have a meeting um, yesterday? Did you have a meeting um, yesterday? For example, you say, yes, I did. No, I didn't, okay? And when you answer, you say, yes, I did. Cuando contestamos, contestamos con el auxiliar. Yes, I did. Or negative, no, I didn't, okay? Now, imagine I use the verb work. Uso el verbo work. In present is work. And in past is worked. So in present, work, okay? So I ask, for example, um, did Rosa work today? Did Rosa work today? Yes, okay. she did. Yes, yes she. she did. Yes, she did. Exactly. Yes, she did. Rosa trabajó hoy. Sí, lo hizo. Yes, she did. She All did. right. Yes, she did. Okay, very good. Now, um, let's see. Um, Michelle, Michelle, uh, did you attend a meeting today? Did you attend a meeting today? Yes, I did. Okay, now everybody. Uh, did Michelle attend a meeting today? Yes, yes she did. She did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Very good. Uh, let's see, Margarita. Margarita, did you go? Digo go. Porque uso el verbo en presente. El pasado sería went, pero uso en presente, ¿ok? So, uh, Margarita, did you go to work today? Yes, I did. And now, everybody, did Margarita go to work today? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, yes she, she did. did. Yes, she did. Ok, very good. Now, let's listen to... Um, let me see here. Let me see here. Let me see here. A boy, Darwin. Darwin, did you practice English today? Did you practice English today? Yes, I did. Really? Yes. Ah, okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> now, everybody, <laughs> now, everybody, did Darwin practice English today? Yes, yes, yes he, he did. did. Yes, he yes, did, he right? Did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Now, question for everybody. Pregunta para todos. Question for everybody. So you say, yes, we did or no, we didn't, okay? Didn't. Yes, we did or no, we didn't, okay? Didn't. All right. Mm, did you work today? Yes, we yes. did. Yes, we did. Yes, <laughs> yes many, yes. many. The question is for everybody. <laughs> did you work today? Yes. Yes, we did. Yes, what? Yes, we? Yes, yes we did. did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We All right. Did. Yes, we did. Okay, good. So, do you have any question about the past? Tienen alguna pregunta? No? Yes. Yeah, what is your question? <laughs> no. Ah, no questions. No. All right, all right, very good. No patience. Good night, now listen. teacher. <laughs> not yet. Yes, now listen. good night. No, not yet. Todavía no, not yet. Now listen carefully. Listen carefully. Again, otra vez, again. Y le voy a compartir aquí pizarra otra vez again. Okay, listen. Um, let me erase this first. Si queremos usar el what, if we want to use what, el where, el when, De igual manera, seguimos la misma estructura. Después de eso, ponemos el did, for example. What did you uh, do, for example? The same structure, la misma estructura. Did, el sujeto, el subject, el verb, y, si, y un complemento si es necesario. Okay? What did you do? ¿Qué hiciste? What did you do? Or maybe I can say, um, where, okay? where did... Uh, you go. Where did you go uh, today? Okay. Where did you go today? ¿Dónde fuiste yes. hoy? Oh. El did, luego el sujeto, el verbo y el complemento. Solo le pongo el where. Okay. Sigo la misma estructura, solo le pongo el what, el where, el when, el who, el bla, bla, bla. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No? Okay, let me pass the attendance. Ada? Present. Antes de que continúe con asistencia, 
Eh, ahora le corresponde a Yancy eh, la sesión uno a uno, pero por razones, eh, bueno, no sé, ella casi siempre se conecta, pero por, por algunas razones ella no pudo estar conectada hoy. Eh, entonces no sé si alguien de los dos que faltan, que sería quienes faltan, ¿Quiénes faltan ah, para jueves y mi, viernes? Zulma. Zulma. ¿Para cuándo, Zulma? El jueves. El jueves. ¿Y el viernes quién quedó para el viernes? Pues Sandra. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Nelson. Yeah. Ok. No sé si alguno de ustedes dos puede tomar el espacio hoy y dejarle el espacio, perdón, dejarle el espacio ya sea para jueves o viernes a, a Yancy para que no pierda la, ese espacio que ella tiene. Eso es si pueden, no es obligación. Si pueden, ok. Si no pueden, no hay problema. ¿Zulma? No, no puedes. Nelson se quedó de último también porque no podía, ¿verdad? Sí, le voy a ayudar a, a Yancy. Voy pero, a ok, pues, pero puedes ahora. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces, thank you very much, Nelson. Thank you very much. Toda la noche, if necessary. Ok, very good. So I will continue with the attendance. Thank you, Nelson. Adriana. Present teacher. Michelle. Present. No present, se me present. Okay, very good. No se me desconecten que no he terminado la clase todavía. Okay, the class hasn't finished. Angela. Present teacher. Good night. Asalia. Not yet. Good night, digo, um, present. Yeah, Darwin. Darwin. <laughs> Darwin. Present teacher. Flor. Present. Gloria. Carla. Present teacher. Margarita. I'm here. Mayra. Present. Miguel. Miguel. Ah, se nos fue Miguel antes de tiempo. Nelson. Ofelia. Present teacher. Right. teacher. Present. Okay. Osmin. Here, teacher. Rafa. Present. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Zulma. Here. Ingrid. Ingrid. Lourdes. Present. Oscar. Present. En Susana. Susana. Present teacher. Present. Very good. Very good. One last activity for today. Una actividad más para hoy. One last activity for today. And we will do this together. Okay. Vamos a hacerla juntos. Okay. Here uh, we have some, um, some incomplete questions, right? Using this subject and this verb. Okay. We are supposed to complete the questions. Okay. Yeah. En applying the explanation, okay, aplicando la explicación. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que usamos para las preguntas? Help me, please. This, this, ah, this, we this, se lo voy a escribir acá para que no se lo... Ok, very good. So we use did, usamos el did. Okay, we use did in the questions. El did va para todas las preguntas, para todos los pronombres. No hay excepción aquí, igual que el presente simple, ok, que va el do, el does, no. Here did is for all the pronouns, for all the subjects, ok. So number one, what is the question number one? Did, did, did you meet? Did you meet, did you meet your boss, your boss yesterday. yesterday? Number two? Did she, she at the end July, July conference? Excellent, excellent. Did she attend the July conference? Number three? Did they, 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 they stay, stay in the meeting last night? night? Excellent. Did they stay in the meeting last night? Number four? Did he pass the test? Excellent. Ok, did he pass the test? Aquí, aquí le falta una S y ese verbo pass, ok. Uh, number five. Did you have? Did you have? Uh -huh. Did you have? Did you have? Did you have? Excellent. Did you have fun? Number six. Did it, did, it, did, it did it start? Did it start on time? Excellent. Did it start on time? Did it start on time? Number seven. Did, did it leave early? Early. early. 
Excellent. Mm. Did they leave early? Did they leave early? Okay. Number eight. Did he, Did he arrive, arrive on he time to the conference? Did he arrive on time to the conference? conference. Did he arrive on time to the conference? Okay, okay. everybody, uh, to the conference. Do you have any questions about the simple past questions? No, teacher. Aquí ya no, no estamos teacher. usando el was o el where. Estamos usando el did con did. otros verbos, right? With other verbs, okay? So, no other questions? Words. Yeah. No. Questions? No? Yeah. Okay, everybody. So, if you have no questions, uh, thank you very much for connecting today. Yeah, Only finished. Nelson says, yes, the class is over. Good night, Ahora teacher. Ahora sí, está terminando la clase, okay? <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. Mañana no hay clases. Mañana no hay clases. Okay. Okay. cadena nacional. Yes. Okay. Bye. Vamos Good night. Okay. Yes. Happy, happy Independence Day. Day. Happy Independence Day. Yeah. Happy Independence Day. <laughs> Two hundred years. Yes. Okay. Happy yes. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, Good night. Bye. Good night bye. everyone. Bye. Good night. Que revivan el color. Happy. El Bitcoin. Bye. Bye bye. All right, good night, Nelson. Okay, good night. Ok. Eh, solo tengo, bueno, la vez anterior tuvimos en face to face, pero este solo a mí se no lo escribí para que me mandara unos unos links para que mejorara, bueno, practicar a la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Yo tengo, bueno, yo he estado tomando mis mi propios recursos, digamos, ¿verdad? Escucho música y eh, hay varias aplicaciones que las anda, he ido descubriendo allí con el, uh -huh. en, la, en las redes y, y sí practico, creo que eh, voy mejorando. He mejorado, okay. eh, más que todo, el, y yo creo que lo más importante es el vocabulario. Yes. ¿Verdad? Y, Definitely. Sí, y eso es una parte y con, con los temas en el, en el pasado del to be, uh, tenía ahí dudas con respecto cuando el artículo puede ser el artículo, digamos, eh, singular, pero eh, el, el, de lo que se está hablando es plural, ahí se tiene que ocupar el where. Sí, eh, cuando tenemos un sujeto, hablemos de sujeto, que ¿okay? cuando tenemos un sujeto en plural... Vamos a usar el where. Imagina, ah. Imagínate que estamos usando el sujeto de students. Tiene una S, students. Ah. Perdón, significa que el sujeto está en plural. Si el sujeto está en plural, usamos el where. Porque el where lo usamos para los pronombres en plural. Excepto para el you en singular, ¿verdad? Que usamos where también. Pero ahí es para que, todos los plurales usamos where. Es que te me confundía porque eh, al inicio de la, de la oración, el artículo estaba en, en digamos, en singular. Uh -huh. Y luego el sujeto se escuchaba como, bueno, era plural. Allí uh -huh. yo tenía esa, esa, esa confusión, pero ya con, con la clase de ahora y, y ahora que me lo termina de aclarar, ya me quedó mejor. Sí. Sí, sí, es que a veces tal vez, la, tal vez nos podemos confundir cuando no está un pronombre, que es un sujeto diferente, que sustituye al pronombre, ¿verdad? Imagínate que tenemos my sister, my sister, Ajá. my sister, mi hermana. Ok, estamos hablando de ella, entonces digo was, my sister was. Pero si solo le cambio my sister a my sisters, con una S, sisters, ya cambia la cosa. So I Allí, say my ah, sisters... Ah, sí. Where, ajá, ajá, ya es where, ajá, exactly. Ah, pues en, en esa parte tenía un poco de confusión, pero ya, mm. ya me quedó claro. Ah, ok, perfecto. Y lo otro, una un, de un tema que he estado allí tratando de averiguar, ¿por qué hay palabras que llevan doble letra? Por ejemplo, attitude, collaborate, de la doble L. Aten lleva doble T. Eh, allí quería, como usted nos dijo, a que sean temas diferentes, se pueden tomar. Real, realmente no sé si hay una regla para esas palabras. Yo solamente sé que existen esas palabras que llevan Ajá. doble T, que llevan doble L. Pero normalmente las, las palabras que se repiten, que son dobles, es la T, la L en muchas palabras. En las vocales es la letra E. Por ejemplo, la letra E se repite bastante, ¿ok? Eh, y se pronuncia como una I. Por ejemplo, cuando digo acero, steel, la letra E. Steel. 
steel, ajá, steel. Y así muchísimas palabras llevan doble E. Es la vocal que más se repite en, en palabras, ¿ok? Dos veces. Ajá. Y de hecho es la única, creo yo, porque la, las demás son, no, no, no son muy comunes, las demás vocales, ¿ok? Y en las no consonantes son no son comunes. La letra T es bien común que se repita cuando decimos Ajá. attendance, por ejemplo, y muchas otras palabras. En, en el caso de la, otra, de la otra letra que tú me decías, ¿cuál es la otra? La R. La, la, la L. La L. La L, la L. Tall, por ejemplo, y se pronuncia como L. Oh, ok, tall. Ajá. Ajá. Y eh, la otra letra es la S también, que se repite a veces. Pass. Ajá. 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 Possession. Ajá. O possessive. Ajá. Ajá. Y, Esa y también Yo anduve, eh, eh, tra, o sea, anduve viendo, verificando eso y, y dije, te voy a preguntar al teacher a ver si es algo, algún arreglo o algo no, ya no. establecido. No, no, hay, no. De, de hecho no hay ninguna regla en específico, solo hay palabras que existen de esa manera, nada más. No es que hay una regla para ver si vamos a poner doble T, o doble L, o doble S, o doble E. Simplemente existen esas palabras. Hasta, bueno, sí. hasta ahora yo no sé ninguna regla en realidad para ver si le vamos a poner doble T o doble L. Ok. Solo sé que existen, nada más. Ok. Creo que eh, solo quizás me, me apoya con, con algún, algún link o alguna... A, a, a algún otro método para poder, digamos, mejorar mi, mi pronunciación. Y, okay. Pero yo siempre me quedo, yo sé que con el vocabulario voy mejorando, pero aún me cuesta poder entenderlo cuando eh, están pronunciando. Están, una conversación no la, no la, no la digiero total, uh -huh. un poquito quizá. Ajá, sí, sí, cuesta. yo siento que si el objetivo es como conversar, como mantener una conversación, eh, podemos unir lo que es pronunciación y pronunciación, perdón, y vocabulario, ¿ok? Uh -huh. eh, lo que puedo hacer es tal vez, eh, pero me escribes de verdad, porque yo así entre los números no los tengo registrados. Por eso les digo al principio que me manden un mensajito eh, para, para yo identificarlo. Si yo quiero escribirle, voy a ese mensajito que me mandaron presentándose y ahí les escribo directamente. Ah, ah okay. escríbeme un mensajito y luego yo te voy a buscar un, algunos enlaces en los cuales aparezcan conversaciones con audios. No, ya no serían lecturas en este caso, serían conversaciones. Porque sí. si, si quieres como hablar más fluidamente o mantener una conversación más de forma fluida, tienes que familiarizarse más, tienes que familiarizarte, perdón, más con vocabulario de conversaciones, vocabulario que se usa en una, en una plática, no una lectura en sí. Sí, ahí claro. voy a aprender vocabulario o en una canción, pero más bien si es una conversación, es vocabulario que yo puedo utilizar en una conversación. Y si lo escucho bastantes veces... Me aprendo sí. la pronunciación, se me van quedando las estructuras también y puedo usarlo en el momento que yo lo, que yo lo necesite. Así que me comprometo a buscarte una, algunas páginas eh, en las cuales hayan, hayan conversaciones de diferentes temas con audio. Yo he visto algunas, pero solo que no, no tengo guardados los, los links. Tendría que buscarlas otra vez. Y ahí sí. te comparto conversaciones que tienen el audio para que escuches el audio, trabajes en pronunciación y en vocabulario y en fluidez. Ok. Ok, pero Exacto. si me escribes el mensajito, o si no, no, yo no, no hago nada. Es correcto. Ok, por okay. favor, please. Ok, please. Ok, thank you. Right. Thank you, teacher. Okay. 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 ok, thank you. Thank you very much for connecting. And well, tomorrow is vacation, right? Yes. No, right. Uh, tomorrow is uh, I work because you work. I, I have attended a, 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 a chain, the, the president. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, yes. it's true, right? Oh, yes. are you going? <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, nice. Very good. Okay. I really like it. Okay, okay thank so, you, teacher. Bye. Okay, happy Independence Day. Bye and good night. Okay, good night, teacher. Okay, bye bye. bye.